Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be fixing this photo. We are going to be removing all this patch from the background, clean up the background, remove all this thing from the background. We are also going to be fixing this dirt under our leg, make the leg look better, like look clean. It's in a very quick, easy approach. You see that very soon, her stomach here, we are going to fix all this board here and make her look more sexy, I'll fix her back. The sweat on our armpits, we're going to fix all that. And we know for the ado, let's get started. First thing you do is to crop the image. I use the 4x5 aspect ratio since I mostly upload to Instagram, and that is the recommended aspect ratio for Instagram. So I use that aspect ratio. The first thing we do is to crop the image because if you don't, you might end up editing part of the image that I then crop out. What is the meaning of that? What is this? That is waste of time and energy. So the first thing we do is to crop the image and start sizing it correctly. You crop your image and uh, you fit on screen to bring this image to fit on screen. The next thing we do is to remove the big patches like this one here. You take your patch to left click and um, select around where you want to fix and move it up to replace it with a better area. You cycle around. Yeah, you want to fix and then you move it up like this very simple it's the easiest way to do this stuff after that the next thing to do is to select the subject from the background and the easiest way is to use select subject since this is a plain backdrop select subject will fix most part of the selection for us so before we do that you duplicate the background layer rename this subject And then come after selecting the quick selection to or the object selection to you click on select subject and wait for the AI to do its thing. After making or after waiting for the select subject, you see that most part of the subject was selected, but some parts were not selected correctly. So you first of all create a layer marks on the subject area to create this selection and to see where it was actually selected you come and create a solid color adjustment and change the color to something contrasting to the subject so that you can see where it's selected and where it's not selected you can see some portion of our leg here was not selected correctly so you take your brush make sure the foreground is white and then why on the subject layer you paint to review the subject increase your flow accordingly and paint to review the subject and then you can see there's this large portion here that was not selected so you take your quick selection tool and then click to select and the quick selection tool works great around edges so you can use it to quickly select and anywhere that was not selected correctly, you can hold Alt to invert the selection. By holding Alt, you remove the selection. And by leaving Alt, the icon changes to plus, meaning you're adding the selection. As simple as that. After making the selection, you take your brush. And then this time, you make sure the foreground is black to review the background. And then you brush over the area you want to review the background. And you fit on screen to see exactly what has happened and then you can see that under her leg the shadow has been uh, selected out we would like to review that portion slightly so we first deselect the selection that has been made already take your brush set the flow very low and then this time uh, you make sure the foreground is white not black make sure the foreground is white and then you paint to review more portion of our leg and a tiny bit of the shadow area just slightly like this when you are okay with the selection you change the background color to the desired color you want and this one I want to maintain a white background so you change the color to white we can see that the shadow is not as pronounced as it is 
or the original Barbara. So we are going to bring out that out by coming to the layer style here. If you don't know how to bring up this uh, layer style, you double click on the particular layer you want to review the layer style. In this case, the color fill layer. And then you take the slider to the left, hold out to split the slider and adjust as shown or adjust until the shadow is showing. At this point, you can see that the shadow is showing a little bit more than it was previously, but we can review it more. All we have to do is just to double click again to bring out the layer style and then increase this selection accordingly. This slider, I move it to the right and see now shadow is showing more just according to how you want your selection to be or how you want to review a particular portion of the tone. That's how you move the slider. To completely remove any color from the background, you bring up this black and white adjustment layer. And after creating it, you see that the white is now seamlessly white and you can change this uh, black and white preset from default to lighter or any of the preset that you seen to sort of fit to the style of a background you are trying to create. This one will leave at neutral density. And then if you zoom in, you see that the shadow is not as pronounced as would like. So you still come to this uh, corner layer and double click and then adjust the slider more don't over move it to the left or the underlining layer will begin to show too much of the depth so just move it uh, at this point you can see the shadow is showing more naturally and everything is just more natural and the model is not hanging in the background that was just the before and after to see how much work we've done now to remove bounding completely you create a layer overlay fill it overlay neutral gray and then come to filter noise add noise while we're adding this noise just to remove any banding that we occur as a result of social media platform compression and instagram compress your image a little bit no matter what and facebook does a lot of compression and when this compression happens you see that uh, your image looks uh, funny, like there's this uh, banding. If you don't know what banding is, I just Google it up. Banding is this rainbow-like uh, effect on your image background. Sometimes it's monochromatic, sometimes it's colored. So creating this layer, we have to make sure that doesn't happen to your image. I retain the image quality and make everything look more pleasing. The next thing we are going to fix in this image is her stomach and her back. So from there we're going to fix her leg. But the first thing is to fix the stomach. So hold Control Shift Alternate E to create a stamp visible layer. And then go to Filter, Liquify. This is a section where we're fixing this stomach area that is coming out in a funny way, in a way that is not that sexy and looking as glamorous as the model would want it. So take the forward warp to and compress the stomach. And just by pushing the stomach in using this forward warp to remove that undesirable shape on her stomach. So you see me doing it. If you don't know how to do it, just put left click on your mouse and then move intuitively to fix any area of the photo you want to like push out or push in so easily we fix the stomach and now we fix the back we don't overdo anything here or you can easily uh distort your model shape so just gradually do everything You can click on the preview to toggle before and after to see what you've done. And you can click on Ctrl Z to go back and forth as to undo or redo a particular area. If you are not satisfied, take the forward warp tool and continue to compress any area 
apple ducts we can make it a little bit more round using this fold wrap too so we shape it like this and then we just even out everything keeping moderation in mind before we're done with this we take a look at the before and after and click on ok to go back into photoshop proper now in photoshop we are going to fix under of our leg we do that easily just zoom into the leg take your lasso tool and then make a rough selection around her feet where you want to remove this thing from just make this rough selection don't worry you're not going to use brush to do anything we are easily fixing this using a coarse adjustment layer just increase the mid tone like this and then you make sure your layer marks not on the curves layer go to your properties and then you see this feeder you increase the feeder until you see that the edge of the selection has been feathered out and now the thing is looking natural and the depth is gone <laughs> you can refine this adjustment using the brush if you like you can adjust opacity as you like everything now is left to your taste i'm just here to show you the tools to use take your brush if you like and adjust now you're not overdoing anything i just adjust it you see this uh, dark shade under her feet close to her buttocks we are going to leave that because the buttocks is naturally going to cast shadow on her feet so we leave that portion out to make everything more natural so now your feet are screened and then move to the next section which is to fix that line and fix the sweat on our armpit this time i think we are going to match all the layers so right click and match visible to match all the layer then you create two layers from the background layer you name the top layer texture and the layer beneath you name color at this point, if you don't already know, we are going to create the frequency separation. So turn off the texture layer and on the color layer, I go to filter, blow, Gaussian blow and increase the reduce to 8. And then click on OK. Now turn on the texture layer, go to image, apply image and then change the blending to subtract. And change the layer to color. A scale should be 2, offset 128. Can leave every other thing at default. And when you are satisfied or when everything is exactly like this, you click on OK. Change the blend mode to linear light. Now we'll group these two layers and name frequency separation or any name that is appropriate. And then we zoom into the area that is having a problem want to fix. Take your patch tool and make a selection around the area that has a problem. Now it's not working because you're on the wrong layer. Open your group and go to the color layer and then move from where it's having a problem to a clean area. Select and move. Select and move to patch. You can see that while we've removed most part of this, you can see this line is still there and apparent. In order to just reduce the effect of this line, we are going to use the glow stamp to make sure the flow is very low, lower than thin. We use 6 for this case. And another thing to take note of, if you're on the corner layer and you're doing this, nothing will happen. So you might fall into the trap of forgetting to be on the correct layer. We should be the texture layer shoe so make sure you're on the texture layer not the color layer while on the texture layer hold alt to select from a clean area and brush over the line to reduce the line you can see just like magic 
the whole line is now being removed, not totally, but to the extent that is desired. Now cycle around this sweat and move to the clean area. It's now, as you desire, move it again. And at this point, you see it's completely gone. Now we are going to fix her clothes. You see this dirt on her makeup, we are going to fix that right now. So to do that, you create a black and white adjustment. You see, after creating a black and white adjustment, you invert the layer marks to remove the effect from the overall image and then just use your brush, making sure your foreground is white and paint on the place that the makeup stain had rest to remove this. And now I change the preset to light and increase the reds because the makeup color is red. I see that the stain is completely gone. So that is a very easy way to fix that. Like this video if you haven't already, please. Now, what else are we to do in this image? Let me show you an easy way to fix her skin. That is a uh, skin reduction. If you zoom into his skin, take your lasso tool and make a selection on her skin. And now, right click to bring up the fader and increase the fader radius to 10. Click on OK, go to filter, blow, Gaussian blow, and increase the radius to 30. Click on OK, and you see that this tone has been uh, evened out. Take a look at the before and after. This was the before. This is the after. The tone has been evened out without affecting the texture. That is the power frequency separation. Uh, if you want more details about frequency separation, let us know in the comment section. We'll round up the video at this point, not to make it look too long. So let us know your feedback in the comment section. Link in the comment section to helpful resources you might need. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing <laughs> tutorial.